lower body strong waxman or waxman's pure strength gym. Today I'm going to share with you a drill I call the footwork drill. And it's a drill I use to help teach my athletes how to get under the bar properly during the, uh, during the Olympic lifts. Now, getting under the bar begins as soon as you finish the extension. Once you finish that extension, then you have to get yourself under the bar. A few things are happening. The hips are going down and back, and the feet are popping out slightly. This is an active pull. Many people make the mistake of just kind of relaxing and, and dropping under. This is, not, this is not passive. You have to physically pull yourself down under the bar. And that pulling under begins with the hips. Now the arms are involved, but the, the impetus, the, 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 the start of that pull under starts with the hips rebending and, and, and pulling yourself down. So I'm going to show you two views of this drill from the front and from the side. And from the front, what you're going to see is you're going to see my feet start in a, in a, in a pulling position, which is a slightly closer than squatting position. From a start pulling position, and then I'm going to quickly get my feet out into receiving position or squatting stance. And from the side, you're going to see my hips start in full extension, and then they're going to quickly go down and back. And, you, and I'm going to end up in the receiving position. Position. So let me show you first from the front. So watch my feet. I'm going to be in full extension and my feet are going to pop out to the sides slightly. Extension and one more time. Up on my toes, fully extended and back down. So if you notice now, I'm in the position that I'm going to be able to squat in from the side. What you're going to see is my everything is in full extension, and then my hips are going to drop down and back, and I'm going to be able to lower my center of gravity quickly. So I start from again from pulling stance, full extension, and if you notice, I'm in perfect receiving position. And one more time, full extension, and quickly down and back, perfect receiving. What this drill is going to help with is to get rid of some of the common errors we see while performing the Olympic lifts, especially in the, in, in the receiving phase. First is the, is, the, is the stamping. You'll see some people, when they finish their pull, they'll actually lift their leg and bring it back down. That's an incorrect and inefficient way to get under the bar. If you notice, when I'm extended, I'm, my feet aren't coming off the ground. They're just sliding and, and, and getting back down on the ground. In fact, they don't really leave the ground at all. They're sliding out. The other common mistake that this helps correct is uh, this uh, football clean. I don't know what else to call it. You'll see guys receive the clean with the feet wide and the hips forward. And this, is, this is a terrible receiving position. So this drill is going to help reinforce that hips back into the proper receiving position. I use this as part of my progression when I teach the Olympic lifts. It's the last thing that I use, uh, the last drill that I use in my, in my teaching progression before we actually do the Olympic lifts. Just a, a little note, the hip action, this, this, this hip action, the foot action, corresponds with the arm action. So as the hips go down and back and as the feet pop out, the arms are doing, are, are, are pulling the body under as well. In, in the snatch, they're, they're pulling yourself under your seating and in the clean it's pulling bar to, to the bar to the shoulders but that action this hip action corresponds with the arm action i want to thank you for joining me today again this is sean waxman from waxman's pure strength gym and stay tuned